Good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. We're going to start um, in a moment, just waiting for the rest to be connected. Vamos a esperar un par de segundos, ya se van a conectar el resto. And let's check who is on traffic. Okay, good evening, everybody. I hope you can be at home now. Uh, I know it is difficult, uh, the traffic during the week. So I hope you can be at home or near your home. So let's see here. We're going to wait a couple of seconds. Espera un par de segundos. Eh, ya se va a conectar el resto. Y vamos a ir activando la cámara. So, uh, let's see uh, who do we have here. A ver quién tenemos acá. Vamos a ir activando ya las cámaras. Para dar inicio, we're going to start with the class number three. So, welcome back to everybody. Let's see here. Carlos, good evening. How are you tonight? Everything okay with your internet? Yes, hello. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Okay. Good night. A normal day. Good normal day. Say a normal day. Okay. No, okay. no traffic. Perfect. That sounds really good. Thank you, Carlos. And okay. here we have also Juancito. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How was yesterday? Could you rest a little bit yesterday? No. No. Like uh, a normal day. Like a normal day. Yeah. Working. Okay, I know. Well, we're about to finish just tomorrow and we finish the week, right? Okay. That's really good. Thank you, Juancito. Flor, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Everything okay? Yep. Yes. Hi. A little bit tired. Um, yes. Yes, I know. Yes, but tomorrow, okay? Let's wait a little bit. Let's make the last effort, Florcita. Thank you. Here we have also uh, Janet. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Very nice. Very nice. I like to hear that. Perfect. Thank you. Frank, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Everything okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. So, hello there. How are you doing? Hello, good evening, teacher. Okay. Oh, okay. Really good. Thank you. So, and uh, we have over there Gisela. She's hiding. Creo que se me escondió, Giselita. I'm here. I'm cooking. <laughs> ah, you're cooking. Okay. Well, 
I hope everything uh, can be all right at the end. Ojalá que todo salga bien. Careful. Ten cuidado, ¿ok? Ahí nos dejas algo. Perfect. And here we have also Silvia Hernandez, right? Hello, Silvia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, well, I'm really good. What about you? Normal. 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 Okay. So let me check this. Anna Silvia, right? Correct. Okay. That's perfect. Well, uh, welcome to this uh, module number four. I hope you can enjoy the, the classes. And I, are you, hello, Elizabeth. Aquí estoy. <laughs> sí, Elizabeth, ya iba contigo. Ya casi, ya casi, pero bueno. Nice to hear you. Gusto de escucharte, Elizabeth. Perfect. Silvia, a question. Are you in the, are you in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay, perfect. So did you notice about the speaking activity that I sent in the in the afternoon, I guess? No, in the morning. There is an uh, there is a speaking activity. Hay una actividad. Si la viste, es, un, es una pregunta. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you prepared with your answer? Todavía no, verdad? No yet. Okay. Pero Okay, just be prepared, okay? okay? I'm going to call you and then we're going to participate. Okay, so, well, nice to see you all, guys. And uh, this is the class number three, right? And it means that we have 17 classes left, okay? Solo 17 classes. Más ya casi, okay? Almost, almost. And today is Thursday, juevesito. So, uh, let's hurry up. Vamos a ponerle pues un poquito de ánimo. And here we have the topic for tonight class is can for information and possibility. Can. There are some people who say can. You can say can, but can is mainly for British accent. I mean, people from England, they say can. I can speak English. And we use American English. I can speak English. Okay. So that's a big difference. If you ask teacher, if, what if I use can? Well, no problem. You can use it. But um, since we are using American English, we commonly say can. Siempre decimos can. Okay. We're going to start this. Uh, we're not going to talk about weight, even we have some activities about weights. Pero quiero que me digan cuál es su altura, okay? So you can say I'm, okay, 1.75. You can say I'm 1.67, okay? Obviously it is centimeters. Okay, but you can say it like that. How tall are you? For saying the weight, here we have my weight is one, or you can say 155. If we are talking about pounds, estamos hablando acerca de libras. But yeah, but it is not necessary. What, it, what I'm interested in is uh, how tall are you? Que tan alto, okay? Juancito, what about you? And then we go with Flor. How tall are you? I am 1.80. Hey, okay, good altitude. Well, nice one, Sito. No problem. Yeah. You don't have any problem with <laughs> playing basketball. Perfect, Juan Sito. What about um, Flor? And then we go with Saul. I am 168. 168, nice. Good, Sito. Well, remember we have different type of heights, different type of altura. Okay, so, and then we go with Carlos. I am 1.75, 76, uh, 75, maybe. 76, okay, thank you. Yes, that, uh, that is really common when you go to some machines, okay, and you want to know your, your height, uh, well, the level of your height. And uh, Carlos, and then Janet. What about you, Carlos? 
Hello. Okay, Carlos. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, my friend. What about you? How tall are you? Okay, I am 1.76 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Janet and then Gisela. M1.55. Um, okay, thank you. I'm mm -hmm. nice. Gisela and then Silvia. I am 1.65. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you, Gisela. Silvia and then we go with Elia. I'm I'm one sixty-nine. Okay, thank you. Elia and then Elizabeth. Hello, I'm Hello. um one sixty-eight. Thank you. Elizabeth and then we go with Marvin. I'm one Point fifty seven. Okay. More or less. <laughs> Sometimes depends on my shoes. Depends on the zapatos, right? <laughs> okay. And Marvin, what about you? How tall are you? I am one eighty five. Oh wow! A uh, higher than Juancito. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm saying this because in a regular class, when we are in the classroom. We we see each other and we notice uh, how high or how tall are we, and we notice a lot of things. And uh, for example, how serious are you? If you are distracted, if you are shy, that depends. Uh, in a physical classroom, verdad? Entonces depende bastante cómo estamos ahí. Pero como estamos eh, desde we, we are from home office, we are online. It means that we can see completely. Okay, so well, that's an idea. And here we have. Bien, solo que tenemos a Verónica Lisset Sánchez. Vamos a cambiar el nombre, verdad? Este me te ibas a bueno te iba a hacer llamar siempre Lisset, verdad? O Liz. Sánchez. Lee Sánchez, ajá, uh -huh. Liz Sánchez. Bien, entonces hay que baja cambiamos el nombre para Liz. Como tenemos okay. dos Verónicas, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Now. Eh, como siempre le digo, as always, every single class I present vocabulary. It may be new for you or maybe not. In any case, I present vocabulary phrases, idiomatic expressions for you to use it. It is uh, really important because we're going, we're studying formal English. I mean, English for work. But uh, it is important to extend our vocabulary to learn more words, more ideas, phrases, and so on. So here we have um, 10 uh, expressions, useful phrases. It can wait, it can wait. But if you say it can't, it can't wait, no puede esperar, pero como decimos, it can wait, relax, don't worry. It can wait. Entonces, cuando me preguntan, teacher, what is the difference between can and can? It is this. Can. Can. Relax. Se escucha relajado. Can. Can. Pero el otro es can't. Entonces, eh, la pronunciación correcta es can. Can. The problem is as every single language, um, the native speakers uh, use a lot of words quickly. Utilizan las palabras bien rápido. Así que cuando escuchen una pausa, Kent. Ahí están refiriéndose a Kent, ¿verdad? It can wait. It can't wait. ¿verdad? It can't wait. Entonces tiene esa pausa. Well, um, number two or twelve in this case, it could have been worse. Could have been peor, peor. Imagine a person is telling a story or an anecdote. And it is not that serious as it seems. No es tan serio como parece. You can say, mm, it could have been worse. O sea, tuviste suerte. It could have been worse. Next. It was a quiet joke. And it, it is really, it was quite, quite a joke. 
uh, imagine uh, uh, one of your partners uh, is making a lot of effort and at the end this uh, partner presents his or her job and you say wow it was it was quite a job it's no go 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 it's a matter of time uh, it's Anoten esta, realmente está así. Um, when you, it's a matter of, for instance, uh, you're talking about justice. Está hablando de justicia. Uh, you listen that something is not fair, algo no es justo, you can say, mm, it's a matter of time. Justice is going to arrive. Es cuestión de tiempo y a ver la justicia. Or when you say, um, my boss or my superiors uh, don't take into account my effort. And you can say, okay, it's a matter of time, relax, keep on working, okay? It's a matter of time. También podemos decir es cuestión de, en lugar de time, it's a matter of like, es cuestión de gustos. It's a matter of likes or tastes or it's a matter of, Mm -hmm. um, moods, de una, una cuestión de, 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 de ánimo. Yeah, you can use it with different forms. Perspectiva. I'm sorry? Perspectiva. Pers yes, it's, uh, yes, it's like perspective. Uh, perspective. It, it, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Constitute <clears throat> words. Thank you. Just about, ya casi. Le están pidiendo el informe. Janet, what about the inform? The report is really urgent. Just about, just about, ya casi. Just now. Justo ahora. Envíame el correo. Please send me the mail. Just now, just now. Justo ahora se lo estoy enviando. No one's place. A ver cuál es el lugar. No one's place. If there is a partner. Who, who, that is really common when one of our partners thinks that he or she is superior than the rest of the team. And we may say, well, for example, Maria should know her place, ¿verdad? Maria debería saber su lugar. So you can use this. Next, know somebody by sight. Okay, reconocer a alguien a simple vista. Know somebody by sight. Similar to love at first sight. Amor a primera vista. Love at first sight. You may say, teacher, but love at first sight doesn't exist. Well, it is a saying. Es un dicho. I'm not, I'm not um, confirming that love at first sight exists. And 20, let's, let's clear it up. Let's clear it up. Esta T suena como R, no R. Ya les he dicho que cuando hay una T y hay vocales, vowels, before and after, the T sounds like an R. Let's clear it up. Clear it up. Pueden, pueden decir, let's clear it up, of course. But for American English, it, it is like common say, uh, let's clear it up, okay? I'm going to call you one by one because I need to check the attendance list. Say, hi, hello, good evening, present. I am here. And then say one of these 10 useful phrases. Uh, Abela Danielson is moving. Abigail uh, Elizabeth, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello there. What's your phrase? Hmm. Just about. Okay. Just about. Thank you. Alexandra is moving. Sylvia. Hi. Hello. Hello, Sylvia. What? Select one of these phrases and pronounce it. No matter <clears throat> what. Whatever you want. It's no go. Okay, thank you. 
Brenda, I don't know if Brenda is there. Okay, and Carlos. Okay, Carlos, hello. Yes. Okay, Carlos. Tell me your phrase, please. Okay, number 12. Mm -hmm. Please. It could have been worse. Yeah, thank you. And Douglas, are you there? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Douglas. Um, just now. Okay, thank you. Elia, your turn. Hi. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, oh. Let's clear it up. Very nice. Let's clear it up. Good. Flor, Sita. Uh, present teacher, it's no go. Yes, perfect. Frank, I don't know if Frank is having his dinner, but uh, maybe later. Gisela. Gisela. La comida, Gisela. No. No, ya estoy <laughs> okay, Giselita. Yeah, what's your phrase? Uh, let's clear it up. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, Frank, what's your phrase, my friend? Okay, no one, please. Okay, perfect. Mauricio is moving, so Juancito, hi there. I don't know if Juan is ready, ready. Well, yes, teacher. Okay, Juancito, tell us, cuéntanos. It can away. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Julissa, no, right? Carly, ah, no tenemos a Carly. I'm uh -huh. here. Ah, oh, yeah, pues sí. So, and I'm having dinner right now. Okay, and my Carly. <laughs> okay. Eh, no no sé por qué no puedo ver la pantalla, pero escuché alguna. Escuché just about. Okay, just about. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Carly. Eh, Laura, no, right? Present. Marvi. Ah, Laurie, hello. Uh -huh. What's hello. your phrase? Just now. Just now, perfect. Marvin, hi there. Hello. Hello. Mm, really good. Janet, your turn. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Just about. Just about, thank you. Saul, yes, right? Hi. I um, know somebody beside. Okay, thank you. Um, Liz Sanchez? Yes, it's a matter of time. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay, and here we have, dice Daniela. Brenda, hello, veo que levantado la mano. No sé si puedes hablar, porque no. no. Hello. Hello, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's continue with this. Ah, uh, really? Okay, vamos a hacer algo. This is the question, a kind of personal question. It is not, it is not like or general mandatory to answer it, but I consider that it is interesting. Have you received inheritance? Just two options. Yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. Have you received inheritance? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Han recibido herencia? Yes or no. So what we're going to do is next, we're going to, let me check. If you have received, do this. If you have not received, so in that case, you're going to select this, okay? Do it right now. Si no ha recibido, come up, pulgar arriba. Si no, pulgar abajo. Thumb down, please. I'm going to check it. In all, quiten los emojis. Yes, I have. No, I have not. I'm sorry, Liz. Carly, tu herencia, pues. Come on. 
Juancito, no, dice. Y ni quiere Juancito. Ok, no problem. Eh, ok. Mm, no, Silvia. No seas tan negativa. Puede que uno sí. Ok, nobody. Well. Um, y Florcita tampoco quiere. Dice. Well. I don't know if no, Carlos. Laura y sí, solo porque le da risa. Ok, Elizabeth, no. Mm. I'm so sorry. Me gusta porque algunos quizás están mintiendo, pero no problem, because that's personal. No, come on, Frank, no todos. Yeah. If you, if you make a, like a throwback, si haces como, como una retroalimentación, quisiera nada, dijo. Ok. Um, in the, what? In the past time, it was really common that grandpas, grandmother, grandfather used to split their um, the, the, their house, the actives that they may have, okay? And it was like split, estaba como que lo dividía, divided, and give a portion, a percentage of his belongings or her belongings to his or her sons, ¿verdad? Se les daba como una parte de, ok, it can be businesses, houses, eh, land, tierras, or cars, whatever, so it was really uncomfortable, era un tanto incómodo, when the moment eh, came, and, and the sons or daughters, hijos e hijas, they used to say, ok, wh what is, where is my part, because I have seen a lot of cases, he visto muchos casos, And I consider that you too, you said that, yeah. Well, dad, mom, what is my inheritance? What is my part? Okay, ¿cuál es mi parte de mi herencia que me corresponde? And that's something cultural, something that happens here in Salvador in Latin America. Que se espera dar eh, la herencia, right? But we're going to talk about it later. Vamos a hablarlo después. Así que dicen ustedes que nadie ha recibido herencia. No les creo, but. Most of you. La mayoría de ustedes dicen que no. Vamos a ver. Es que depende, teacher. Ese, ese depende. That depends on means. Yes, depende. Es un sí. <risa> depende, dice Giselita. Bueno, ya vamos sí. a ver. Sí, porque al menos yo considero eh, que una herencia que me han dejado mis papás y mis abuelos aún en vida es haber estudiado mi carrera. Ah, yes, that's another part, like uh, a neighbor that they give you paying, like university, your studies, okay? Yeah, that could it be. Mm -hmm. I understand that part, yes. Okay, Francisco says, uh, so much hermanos, Francisco. A lot of brothers in your case. And that's really uncomfortable. It's incomodity, it's difficult. It's difficult when there are a lot of sons or daughters. Imagínense, ocho, diez, con siete, yeah, kind of. Well, we're going to check this later. Así que ustedes dicen, no, I haven't. No, yo no lo he. Well, we were talking about weight. Estamos hablando sobre peso también, bro. Okay, here we have features, okay? Features, products. We have tablets, televisions, refrigerators. Refrigerators. Television tablets, here we have weight, dimension, quantity, okay? G, pueden decir G or grams, ¿verdad? Eh, estas son pues, las libras, here we have centímetros, centímetros, okay? And that's a quantity. It is like uh, very common that we have televisions, big television, that's very common. And now that the World Cup is coming, ya viene la, la Copa del Mundo, right? So, um, take a look at this. Eh, ya vamos a practicar un poco. Démosle una revisada a este cuadro.
one one object, tablet, television, or refrigerator, and I need you to say the the information in numbers. Okay, here you have grams. Here are centimeters. Okay, this is the quantity. And here we have television that is pounds, libras. This is in inches, pulgadas. Okay, so that's it. Um, maybe you can say one. For instance, let's listen to Carlos. Carlos, can you select one of the products? And when you select the product, I need you to say, for example, you select television. I need you to read this, this, and this. Wait. Okay, yeah, dimension, yeah, quantity. Okay. okay. Is it refrigerator? Okay, what about refrigerator? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 340 livers. Pounds. Mm -hmm. pounds. Livers or pounds, dimension. Pounds. Dimension, uh, 40, one, eight inch. Okay, inch. Or inches yeah, and in quantity? Quantity 50. Okay, very nice. What about soul? Tablets or television? Um, television. Please. Um, weight is um, 112.43 pounds. Mm -hmm. And dimension, dimension is um, 41.3 inch. Or, well, for by by mm -hmm, for by, by twenty six by twenty six point seven inch. Okay, with thank the you, quantity man. it's one hundred. Perfect, thank you. And Juancito, tablets. Can you read it, please, Juancito? Okay, teacher. Weigh one hundred seventy point mm -hmm. or. Oh no, gram. Uh, dimension ninety point three centimeter, centimeter by thirty point seven centimeter by one point zero three centimeter. Okay. In quantity 200. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you okay. very much uh, for saying this information. And here we have this. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Okay. And but here we have a conversation that it's uh, later. Después tenemos esta conversación de because this is for a conversation work. Okay, we're going to check it later. We start with this. In your opinion, is inheritance mandatory in families? Sería obligatorio en las familias. La herencia, example given, ejemplo, money, house, lands. Okay, so any opinions for this? You may say yes, no, because, well, I think, in my opinion, I consider the way I see it, I believe. You can say it in different forms, or you can use different introductory phrases. So, anybody wants to be the first? If not, I can select. Any. Okay, Liz, ready for the show. And then once okay. you in my personal opinion, I consider it's yep. very important, um, but uh, it's no really necessary. And uh, you can, a lot of experience, you create a, a good uh, future, create a better opportunities job. Uh, uh, for my, to myself or from myself or for myself. To myself, mm -hmm. or to myself. very, very este, 
opportunities uh, to another person. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Basically, that's yes. it. Mm -hmm. I like uh, your point of view. Really good, Liz. Thank you. What about Juancito? Welcome to the show. Okay, teacher. Uh, in my opinion, no. Personality, I have no receiver uh, and it stands. And never. What, <laughs> never. And what I have is the fruit of my work and okay. offer from which I have a way forward. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's everything that you have achieved. Lo que has logrado achieved is the result exactly. of your effort. And worthy. that's worthy. Es más valioso. That's worthy, right? Because you know how hard has been the, the process, the road, el camino ha sido difícil. So, yeah, we appreciate more, not just the things, but the opportunities and people, right? Yeah, Juancito, very good. And uh, algo, algo más, teacher. Dime, uh, tell us. The Jones, well, the general. In general, uh, huh? Los jóvenes no, no ven esa parte eh, así, o sea, es cierto, lo, lo, que ya vamos de salida somos los adultos uh -huh. pero los jóvenes como que no tienen esa madurez That para ver maturity okay realmente o sea y muchas veces los adultos nos decepcionamos de los jóvenes por las actitudes mismas de ellos y al final quienes pierden los jóvenes yeah that's it yeah, because life is hard in exactly. different senses. In todos los sentidos, in different sentidos. Life is hard. And maybe, I don't know, but maybe we as adults, we think I want to give my kids or the next generation the, the opportunities that I didn't have, or the things that I wanted, I'm going to give it to them. But to give the access, the easy access to the things, that's a big problem. Darle un acceso fácil a las cosas, facilitarle todo, that's a big yes. problem. Right? Yes. Yeah. So that's one of the maybe that's a big mistake that we as adults are, um, we are committing. Estamos cometiendo ese gran error. Right? Yes. So. In personality. I know how some, mm -hmm. uh, but you notice you notice the attitudes of the no, next no. generations, right? I know, no how. Uh -huh. you don't have kids, some. right? It's like okay. kids. Uh, well, pero quienes deberían de acceder a se lo pierden, diría yo. Mm -hmm. Por las actitudes que tienen las nuevas generaciones. I guess it is, yeah. The, it is a, a big, a, a topic that is really traumatic, but we have to be aware. Debemos de estar muy conscientes de, de lo que está pasando con todo realmente, porque las exigencias, ok, vienen después. When everything is easy, ok, exactly. they demand. La juventud yes. demanda, demands everything. <laughs> that, that's it. Demands opportunities, access, money. Yeah, and everything should be the result of the effort. Hard work. Trabajador. Creo que sobre todo dinero. Money, yeah. money. Money, como la de Pink Floyd. Okay, thank yes. you, Juancito. Estamos reflexivos okay. ahora. El martes estábamos hablando de otras cosas, estamos reflexivos. Ah, ok. Sí, okay. Yes, that's it. Thank you, Juancito, for sharing your point of view. What about Gisela and then Elia? Ah, Gisela está decepcionada. 
puede ser posible. <laughs> can be possible. No, uh, in my opinion, uh, it's no. No, not necessary. Not mandatory. Mm -hmm. No, uh, because other we say, we do not like to give it the current value of two things. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's the value of hard work, the value of uh, taking the things by themselves. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Hiselita. And Elia? Hello. Hello there. Mm, um, consider um, that is not obligation. Ace is worth to have their, their things, um, but I some things happen. Is it is welcome? Okay. Yes, as you say, if parents wants to give something to their kids, yeah, perfect. But it is not an obligation, right? Correct. But if you if your parents say, well, I'm going to give you this, you have to be really grateful. Tienes que estar agradecido, okay? Really grateful, okay? And take care of it. Y cuidar lo que te da. Okay, thank you, Elia. Thank you. Uh, well, now we're going to have the first, let me see. We're going to have the first conversation. And in this case, let me check this here we have this okay the first conversation says it was nice talking to you why are you trying to rush me off the phone i really have to go why i still wanted to talk to you wanted or wanted i have things to do like what don't be nosy i'm not i just want to know well, it's really none of your business. That's harsh. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Fine. Okay. So in this case, um, here we have. Fue bonito hablar contigo porque me estás sacando, porque me estás apurando. Me quieres colgar. Ya me tengo que ir. I really have to go. Why? Porque uh, I still wanted to talk, todavía quiero hablar contigo. Tengo cosas que hacer, como cuáles. No seas curioso. I'm not. I just want to know, solo quiero saber. Well, uh, bueno, le dice, realmente no, no es de tu inconveniencia. Cuando decimos, it's none of your business, no es de tu inconveniencia. That's harsh, una lástima. I'm sorry, but I have to go. ¿Se me tengo que ir? Fine. Ok. Mm, next, number two. I've enjoyed conversing with you. Is there a reason why you're trying to get off of the phone so fast? I've got to go. I wasn't done talking to you. I have to do some things. And besides, it's not polite to be nosy. I'm not being nosy. I'm just asking. I really don't think it's any of your business. That's not nice. I apologize, but I'm getting off the phone now. Okay. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, son conversaciones como cuando ya quieren cortar a alguien en la llamada, you want to say goodbye, and that person is still, eh, that person está enamorada, aquí todavía no quiere escuchar, tú dulce voz, so I, I don't en want to say goodbye. En la friends, hey, tranquila, pasa, pasa. Ok, so, eh, si se dan cuenta, aparece la palabra nosy, viene de nose, de nariz, nosy, como ser tanto metido, <laughs> okay, so that's it, and yes, it's, uh, yeah, I'm just asking, se lo estoy preguntando, eh, I'm not being nosy, no estoy siendo curioso, ok, eh, cuando utilizamos besides, significa además, besides, pero sin la S, besides significa a la par, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, the TV is beside Gisela, la televisión está a la par de Gisela, 
but if we if we say besides that blah blah, blah other, others okay mm, yeah. apologize disculpas i apologize me disculpo okay but i'm getting out the phone pero ya voy a colgar salud ya no te quiero ver jamás en mi vida bye okay let's see and here we have conversation three I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. What's the rush? I have to get off the phone now. I'm not ready to get off the phone with you. There are other things I need to take care of. What is it that you need to do? Please don't be nosy. I'm not being nosy. It's just a question. You don't need to worry about that. That was, that was mean to say. I'm very sorry, but I must go, I guess. Okay, in this case, cuando dicen, what's the rush? ¿Cuál es el apuro? Okay, so, uh, tengo que colgar. I'm not ready to get up. <laughs> no estoy listo para colgarte, dice. Eh, se escucha bien sad. Okay, and the same things, eh, como salud, salud, and the other person is not. I want to eh, continue talking. So that's it. Cuando dicen, that was mean to say, eso fue muy malvado, fue muy malo decirlo, o sea, como que era malo, ¿ok? So, uh, we're going to have practice with these three conversations. I will need Juancito, please, to help me uh, with the screenshot, please. This is number, number one. one. Yep. Number one. Okay. Thank you. This is number two. One moment. No problem. Say your time. Number one. Number two. Okay, number two. And finally. Here we have number three, right? Right away. Okay. Okay, my friends, my dear friends, I'm going to check the attendance list, um, the attendance list, the groups. And please take, uh, take a look at the conversation. Denle una revisada a las conversaciones mientras los ubico para las eh, practicar. We're going to practice the three conversations. Recuerden, el guin es A, el otro es B, y a la siguiente, the next time you have to switch. Tienen que intercambiar. Eh, y alguien el que fue A después va a ser B eh, so on y sucesivamente just give me a minute solo denme un minuto mientras los organizo Okay, see you in a moment. In a couple of minutes, we return. Accept the invitation and see you in a moment. Oh, yes, that's it.
Carly.
let's check the conversations that you have already practiced. So in this case, let's listen to, here we have three conversations. So it means that we're going to have three uh, team, tres equipos, okay? What if we start with, uh, well, in this case, Laura, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you start with conversation one, please? Who is your partner? Uh, Liz Sanchez. Liz Sanchez, are you there? Yes. Okay. Can you say number one, please? Okay. I start now or later. Why uh, are you? Hola. Okay. O sea, comenzamos ya coach o, o después? Sí. Right now. Ah, okay. okay. Dele Laurita. Amen. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Where are you trying to rush my off the phone? I really have to go to go. Why? I still wanted to talk to you. I have things to do. Like what? Don't be nosy. I'm not. I just want to know. Well, it's really known of your boss, bossing. Business. Business. That's harsh. I am sorry, but I have to go. Fine. Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you. Let's go with number two. Do we have volunteers for number two? Let's see who wants to participate. It can be, you can be volunteer or, okay, Gisela. Yeah, also tenía en mente, Gisela, okay. Who is your partner? Uh, Jose. Okay. Mauricio, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, I be conversing with you. Is there a reason why you're taking to get off the phone so fast? I be got to go. I want don't talk to you. I have to do some things, and besides, it is not policy to be known. And not between a uh, and just acting. I really don't think it is any of your business. That is not nice. I apologize, but I'm getting off the phone now. Okay. Good. Me mal está Gisela colgando. Okay. Yeah. Conversation three. Volunteers, thank you, Gisela and Mauricio. Very good job. Very well. What about number three? So in this case, maybe we can have Silvia. What about you? Uh, con Janet. With Janet. Okay. Uh, Silvia and Janet, are you ready? Yeah. Empieza usted, Silvia. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'll talk to you later. What's the rules? I have to get off the phone now. I'm not really to get off the phone with you. There are other things I need to care. I need to take care of. What I did that you need to do? Please don't be nosy. It not being nosy, it's just a question. You don't need to worry about that. That was mean to say. I am very sorry, but it must go. I guess. I guess. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Very nice, Janet and Silvia. Thank you. Okay, we continue with this now that we already practiced. 
And I have perceived that you have uh, better fluency. He notado que todos pues están mejorando con la fluidez. I like, I, I really, well, really like that. Well, continue with the speaking activity. In your opinion, is heritage inheritance mandatory in families in this case we're going to listen abigail elizabeth are you ready teacher. and then floor please one moment please <laughs> okay busca tus apuntes ahorita mm -hmm. okay in my opinion, it is important in the life if the family has their resource, but it's not necessary. Many cases have limits, but the result of having a say the objective are more significant, the people. Okay, yes, that's more significant. Eso es más importante, eso es más valioso, right? Yeah, and definitely, I guess, more than material things. Más que cosas materiales, right, Elizabeth? Very nice. Uh, Flor, what about you? And after Flor, let's listen to Francisco. In my opinion, it's not mandatory to live an inheritance. ¿Cómo es? Inheritance. 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 Each family gives what is half if they have inheritance, they live inheritance, but if they are not, they are not obligated. Mm -hmm. It's not an obligation. They are, they are not just pushed to do that. No están obligados, yes. right? No. Depends. If there is a chance, if they want to do it, of course. Right. Yes. Uh, thank you, Flor. Mm, yes, I agree. Because maybe the point of view or the opinions of the parents is to leave something to help their kids. Ayudar a sus hijos, right? And and that's good, right? Cuando well, se but, puede, se hace, pero se puede, no es yes. obligación, correct. When there is a possibility, yes, it is not an obligation, definitely. Yes. And we yes. we have to change that. That, that point of view, that opinion, de donde cambiar eso, de que me merezco eso. And when you die, because there are some conversations that are really uncomfortable with parents and some kids may say, and when you pass away, what is going to be? Y cuando fallezcas, que va a pasar? Y todo eso. But they talk about material things and that's really disgusting. Yes. Okay, Florcita. Very good opinion, Francisco. You go and then we go with Lauri. Okay, Frank. Okay. Yes. Uh, my opinion is not mandatory. The best in everything. That they have given me is life and education. There are many experiences where families can see where serious problems. In my days, this week, siblings, and uh, if there are beer parties, they all cause problems. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take some of your words. Voy a tomar un par de tus palabras, Francisco. Uh, that could be the source of some problems, some differences between brothers and sisters. And I have seen that, ya he visto eso, right? Like problems because of that. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, we have, it may be, okay. La fuente de problemas, la manzana de la discordia. It is something that makes flow a lot of sensations, emotional and negative feelings that maybe the, well, some brothers or sisters have. Y eso pasa normalmente cuando la herencia es pequeña, right? And brothers and sisters are many, y son bastante. 
So they want to split the, the, the partirlo de todo eso. So, yeah. Eh, mi experiencia mm, no es pequeña la herencia, ¿verdad? Pero, uh, como comento, hay terceras personas que de igual forma van a obtener su, su parte como su herencia, pero aún así quieren abarcar más. No, y son yeah, terceras personas. Yeah, it is not first in line. No son como primeros en la línea, ¿verdad? No. De sucesión, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yeah, and that, that... Y aquí es donde aparece también las familias políticas, right? Because, there are, for example, there are seven brothers. Hay siete hermanos o hermanas. There are siblings. Porque siblings significa hermanos y hermanas. So, when the inheritance has to be split, The, the other wives or husbands, los otros esposos, esposas, también eh, inciden. They want to have incidents on the decisions. And that's where uh, some problems begin. Yes. Yeah, that's it. So thank you for sharing your opinion, uh, Francisco. Very uh, nice point. And I guess... That is something that it's uh, it is common here in El Salvador, right? Okay, Frank and Laura. Laura, are you ready? Yes. Okay. It We want to hear not, you. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is not an obligation, in my opinion. I consider that it is optional if the person wants or not and to whom or one como decir a quien to whom mm -hmm. whom yeah yes that's it yes that's it um who significa quien to whom a quien for whom sorry para quien So, uh, yeah, that's different. And that's it, uh, Laura. Yeah, I consider that it is not an obligation, but it is a blessing, es una bendición, if you receive something, but you don't have to be waiting for that. No debe de estar esperando por nada de eso. Okay, we continue with the class, and here we have one of the main topics, and it is this. How to use skin for information or possibility. So in this case, it is like closed questions and open questions. If you notice, here we have closed questions. Aquí tenemos preguntas cerradas. Look at this. Why they are closed questions? Because the answers can be yes or no. Solo sí o no puede ser la respuesta de las preguntas cerradas. Tenemos. Can you stack all the products? ¿Verdad? Puede guardar todos los productos. Can you? Can you come tomorrow? Can she send the report? Can we complete the task? Can they finish their work? Entonces, esta es la estructura. Can, el, ¿cómo se llama? El pronombre, subject pronoun. Y el verbo con el complemento. And here we have this. Where and when. Donde y cuando. Where can you stack all the products? Eh, I'm sorry, where. Ajá. Donde puedes eh, guardar, ¿verdad? O oh, también puedes ir ordenar todos los productos. When can she... When can she finish their work? Okay. When... Can you finish your report? Okay. When can he send the email? Mm -hmm. Entonces, vamos a hacer preguntas con respecto a esos. Pero antes, before that, we have here an exercise. Tenemos un ejercicio. Y entonces, en los ejercicios ya tenemos, we have already the answers. Las respuestas ya están dadas. Necesitamos las preguntas. Okay. I'm going to complete one. Vamos a ver. Si hay voluntarios, adelante. Si no, pues completo una. Ya. Let me see.
Okay. Can you move all the TVs or all the televisions? And the answer is no, we can't. We can't move all the televisions. Así que vamos a hacer uh -huh. el, el resto de preguntas. What if we have some sentences? Taul, can you help me? With one, you can select uh, one, two, four, five, or six. Your teacher. Ok, Florcita también. Ok, eh, pero vamos number. a ver. Ok, comienzas tú y después vas a Saúl. Vamos. Number, number one. Ok. Can you store them in the back room? Ok. Ok. Can you store them? The Ahora, back. aquí. In the back room, bien, puedes guardarlas en el cuarto trasero, dice, o de atrás. Ahora, aquí viene un punto. Aquí podemos escribir. Where. Where. ¿Dónde las puedes guardar? Ah, tú las puedes guardar en el cuarto de atrás. Entonces, ahí sería where. Uh -huh. where. Where can you can store you... them? Hola. Uh -huh. Thank you, Florcito. Saúl and then Mauricio. Ok. Um, two, um... Maybe she can can sing can the poem. Ah, uh, can she sign? Mm -hmm. Can sign. you sign? Yes. The forms the or, form. or the form? Yeah, that's it. The form. Thank you. Can she sign the form? Yes, she can. She can sign the form. Okay. Here we have also Liz. Ah, Mauricio de Ilis. Ok. Mauricio. Eh, number four. Please. Ah, sería where can eh, they uh -huh. pile up. A pile up. Pile up. Yes. En este caso sería when. Uh -huh. When they ah, can pile when. up the boxes. Sí, ¿cuándo? ¿Cuándo pueden eh, apilar las ah, cajas? Ellos okay. pueden apilar las cajas. Tomorrow, mañana. Mm. Thank you. And Liz. And we're going to finish with Juancito. Okay. Uh, six. Liz. Uh, can you give me information of the product? Yeah. Yeah, can you give me information of the product? Perfect, thank you. Juancito? Yes. Uh, uh, five. Can you... Uh, store the nighting cars on a warehouse? Okay. Aquí sería... Como también estamos. Where? Yes, where, porque where? estamos hablando del lugar, ¿verdad? Where? where can you store the 90 cards? ¿Dónde la puedes guardar los 90 cards? You can store the 90 cards on a warehouse, mm -hmm. en, un, en un, una bodega. Es como aquí, in the back room. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, ajá, y como aquí dice, tomorrow, no por, por eso es when. Carly, hello there. Yeah, eh, solo tenía una duda. Eh, la 4 está en el orden correcto. No sería no. when can when they. Can they. When can they. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. When can they. Sí, el el, siempre va el auxiliar antes. Una consulta, mm -hmm. teacher. Yeah. En este contexto donde dice store, es el verbo entonces. Mm -hmm. the store es tienda. Uh -huh. Store también significa ubicar y guardar. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, gracias. That's it. Yeah, it is like part of the verbs that may have more than one meaning. Puede tener más de un significado. So, that's it. Ok, Liz, very nice. And we go now to another 
and we're going to have listening okay so be ready with your pen or your pencil uh, you're going to uh, identify information write words phrases or ideas that you listen just give me a couple seconds Okay, we're going to listen to time. This photo is very old. I think it's from 1910 and it looks very yellow. The man at the back, the first one on the left, is my grandfather. His two brothers are Charles and William. William is the one with the open jacket. My grandfather's sister is called Violet. My grandfather was about 22 when this photo was taken. They were outside the family home in Chicago. Two years after this photo, my grandfather got married to a friend of Violet and my father was born about 10 years after this photo. My grandfather worked for 27 years in a cinema about three blocks from this house. He started selling chocolate bars and soda drinks to people watching silent movies and finished as the manager. He was an incredible man. Okay, let's listen one more. This photo is very old. I think it's from 1910 and it looks very yellow. The man at the back, the first one on the left, is my grandfather. His two brothers are Charles and William. William is the one with the open jacket. My grandfather's sister is called Violet. My grandfather was about 22 when this photo was taken. They were outside the family home in Chicago. Two years after this photo, my grandfather got married to a friend of Violet and my father was born about 10 years after this photo. My grandfather worked for 27 years in a cinema about three blocks from this house. He started selling chocolate bars and soda drinks to people watching silent movies and finished as the manager. He was an incredible man. Okay, Juancito, tell us what you got. Uh, I guess you have some information, right? Okay. Uh, this photo, the mount, the back, William, sister, Violet, grandfather, sister, the family, about 27 on the cinema. The blog, Monoyer, Incredible Man. Okay. Good words. Very nice mm -hmm. uh, uh, ideas. Thank you, and sentences. Flor, okay, tell us, Rosita. Tiene apagado el. Si te estás hablando con tu conciencia en este momento. Ay. Está contestando. Está inspirada la pobre. Ok, no te escuchamos. Come on, Florita, you can. Anything, men at the back, Charles, grandfather, family home in Chicago. They're your people. The four in the beer. Charles William, Charles Williams, grandfather, uh, three blocks. Okay, very nice, very nice. Thank you. Anybody, Carly, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, 
tranquilo, no te. Eh, this photo is very old. He's my grandfather. Two years after this photo, uh, he finished as a manager. Uh, it's from 1910. 27 years for uh, worked for a cinema and he was an incredible man. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, very complete, Carly. Mauricio, you go. Okay, I think uh, Jalon William if my grandfather, sister about cinema, chocolate bars, and finish. Mm -hmm. Good one. Thank you. And do we have anybody else? Well, maybe not. So in this case, I'm going to present the I'm going to present the audio. So yes, if you notice, tenemos uh, this for is very old. I think it's from about uh, 1910, del, del uh, 1910, and it looks very yellow, las amarillas. So um, it is about the description, right, of a family. And yeah, that's it. Uh, it's about a family picture, really old. I don't know if you have old pictures. No sé si tienen eh, fotos antiguas, ustedes ancient pictures. I guess one in my family, it's from 19, 1950s, maybe, de 1950, creo que hay una foto en la familia. It's maybe the only one. It's really old. It's really, really old. 1954, creo que del 54. I don't know if your case, if you have me, Carlos, Francisco, Flor, do you have some ancient picture? Uh -huh. What uh, year? Algún el año? Uh, sister, I have before the uh, Mil novecientos veinte. Mil novecientos veinte. Sí, es bastante antiguo. Bastante antiguo, ok. ¿Qué uh, eh, Carlos, you have one? Uh, of my father. It's in 1947. Oh, 47. Uh, when was born. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Huh? Okay, who else? Juancito, anyone? Any other? I know. If. Yeah, any other have ancient photograph, no photo antigua? No, Juancito. No, teacher. No. Okay. Yes. Well, in the past there was not uh, we didn't have too much access to photographies, right? So it was kind of weird. So era un poco extraño, ¿verdad? Tener acceso a eso. Well, uh, we continue with the other part. Comenzamos con la otra parte que, okay, in your opinion, is inheritance mandatory in families? Um, I like to hear Carly, and then we go with uh, Janet. Okay. Va, permítame que busco la inspiración porque quiero tener Va. nota. Ando Relax. fuera con mi perrito. Nos va a decir toda la herencia que no le dejaron. No, no, no. La carne, la carne. Viene. Ahí hay. Que prepare la herencia de Skippy. No, it isn't uh, necessary. But I think uh, it's more rewarding to leave the fruits of our efforts to a family member. In the end, when we were, when we were dead, when we when we passed away, uh, we cannot take anything with us. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, it's it. helpful for someone else. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It is more rewarding. Es como que yeah. uh, se siente una mejor satisfacción. Yeah, when Come it's on. one's efforts. Aparte de los de los bienes que tenés, Carly, aparte de todo. Ahí. Ah, pues sí. Tiene tierrita. A ver, si por eso la atienden rápido en Chivo Pets, porque dice que va. Las ah, tierritas. Pues, por allá me mandan. Las tierritas. De... Ok. Los quilates. Ok, sí, sí. let's listen to Janet and then we go with Saul. My opinions uh, uh, no because it's volunteer parentals in case they have owes money or lamps. Very good point. Volunteers, interesting word. Yeah, it's volunteer. Thank you. And what about Saul and after Saul, Marvin? Um, I think uh, the inheritance uh, is not mandatory because uh, the stability, the stability and economic and sentimental, mm -hmm. it depends on each one. Um, yeah. Yeah, it depends so, on each one. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Definitely, okay. uh, it is maybe, and even people change mind, change opinions. Lo que a veces van a dar la herencia a última hora. Maybe they, they say, well, I'm not going to give this to that person. But maybe the other person uh, deserves more. Okay, thank you, Saul. And Marvin, what about you? And after we go with Douglas. Okay, in my opinion, it is not an obligation to okay. leave an interest. Every should work for their own. And instead of leaving the interest, the people who work it to enjoy the result of their offer before dying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, remember Deberían de disfrutarlo. Yes. While they can, mientras pueden, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is like when we die, we're not going to take anything. So it is good to have a lot of actives or good uh, or yes, tener bienes, mer activos, all those things are important. But remember, when we pass away, when when everything is going to be here, so se queda. Well. Uh, Douglas, right? Douglas and then Sylvia. If Douglas is not ready, uh, let's listen to Sylvia. What okay. about you? In my opinion, in a name is not obligation and in necessary. Um, is voluntary decision on the mass of a saying is the position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely it is, Sylvia. Thank you. Yes, it is like voluntary. Okay, um, Carlos, then los últimos, Carlos and Mauricio. I don't know if Carlos is ready. No sé si. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, please, my friend, go. Okay, in my opinion, it's no, because I work hard to give me my things, make it all by myself. I'm healthy to do all. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, uh, during the time that we are healthy, we have strength, it, it is, we have to take advantage of that time. Thank you, Carlos and Mauricio, please. Okay, permit me. Seria, I am a charity. No sé cómo se dice. Yes, not important. Uh, charity, la caridad. Charity. charity is not important. Is if uh, we are not a unit in the family. 
I, in my case, I've told my parents what the house is going to for me, sister and, and her children. Okay. Yeah, good point. We can help others that uh, others who don't have some resources, right? Yeah. Thank you, Mauricio. Very nice. Para el caso de la canción, no tenemos lista la canción con Alexandra que le correspondía ahora. Así que, pues, lastimosamente vamos a dejar eh, ese espacio ahí en blanco con la canción. Abigail, ¿estás por ahí? No sé si Abigail, Elizabeth. Sí, sí, aquí estoy. Eh, Elizabeth, ¿podrías presentarla tú mañana? Elizabeth. ¿Presentar? Sí, la canción, lo de la canción. Ahora. No, mañana, tomorrow. Uh, sí, está bien. Sí puedes, vaya. Eh, sí, sí. Ya sabes cómo es la mecánica, ¿verdad? Elizabeth, sí, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Sí, teacher, para mañana. No hay problema. Perfecto, perfecto. Bien, como recuerdan, eh, estamos estudiando la gramática a través de las canciones, identificando subject pronouns, object pronouns, possessive adjective, possessive pronouns, adjectives, adverbs y los verbos regulares o irregulares. También podemos agregarle esto si ustedes quieren. Hay oraciones que están in present. Commonly, eh, lyrics are in present. ¿verdad? Las letras normalmente están in presente. But also we have um, we have past and we have future. And with this, we have different types of past. For example, simple past, past continuous, past perfect, uh, and perfect continuous. You have present, the same. Four, four uh, types of present and four types of future. Si quieren, pueden agregar esto. Pueden agregar, por ejemplo, una oración que diga present or simple past, if you want. Okay, so that's important. Una pregunta, indicate... teacher. Hola. Yeah. Sí, una pregunta que no me tocaba la canción a mí para ahora. Según a ti te tocaba, recuerdo, Carlos. O cuando me tocaba a mí. Uh, Estuve recordando. ¿Esa es lista ahora? Sí, ahí tengo eh, la, la canción lista. Yo me acordaba que para a mí me tocaba. No sé si eh, se lo mando WhatsApp. Teacher, está si enamorado. Cree. Ya me acordé, ¿Qué? es cierto, Carlos, ya me acordé por qué te había dicho a ti. Porque, ya me acordé, ya me acordé. Porque tú eres el número seis de la lista, Carlos. Pero no se habían conectado ah. Elizabeth la primera vez, ni Alexandra, ni Silvia que está ahora, ni Brenda. ¿Verdad? Por eso que te puse... Ah, ya me acordé, es cierto, es cierto. Bueno, vamos a ver entonces. Que sí, pues. Se la mando por WhatsApp. Ah, pues el teacher está enamorado. Más o menos. De la herencia. ¿Verdad que sí? Ya le van a sacar los trapos del sol al teacher. La estoy regando, la estoy, regando. estoy perdiendo el toque. Carlos, ¿tú puedes presentarla? Sí, este... Yo la mandé por WhatsApp el, la imagen de la canción. Mm, vaya, es que el, el, el objetivo es que ustedes presenten la imagen ya, pero si no, pues vamos a ver. Oh, okay. si alguien la tiene lista para presentar. Voy a ver cómo. Es que no tengo ver, abierto si el, el navegador ahorita, pero si no, pues veamos. Ah, ok, es que ahorita sí. Ah, puede, si Quiero puedes, ver. mejor. ¿La pueden ver? Um, déjame ver. Yes, yes. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. ok. Ok, bueno, voy a decir todos porque hay varias palabritas ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, puedes elegir ocho. Seis, oh, siete, okay. palabras, no problem. Ok, dice ahí, girls, I'm having a good time, having a good time. I'm sure you start leaping through the sky like a tiger defying the laws of gravity. I am racing car pricing by like Lady Godiva. I'm gonna go, go, go. There's no stopping me. I'm burning throughout the skies. Yeah, 200 degrees. That's why they called me Mr. Fahrenheit. 
I'm traveling at the speed of light. I want to make a supersonic man of, of you. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Creo que ya sabemos qué canción es, right? We already know. Ya yeah. saben, Galea. I know. Yeah, Don't stop me now. Know. Yes, from Queen. Yes. Don't stop me now. Yeah. Because I'm having just a good time. Yeah, really good song. Well, tell us the tell us the, the words, Carlos. Ten princess or words. Oh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I can select one I yeah, I'm having, okay? ¿Qué uh -huh. sería eso? Estoy teniendo, lo tengo. Estoy teniendo, sí, pero la parte gramatical, ajá. No, tengo un buen tiempo. No, no, la, lo, la gramática sería esto, de I'm, verbo uh -huh. to be. Mm. Having, okay. ajá, sería present continuous, ajá. Uh, uh -huh. ¿Qué otra parte? Vamos a ver qué otra palabra. Ok, vamos a ver. Ay, me traba el mouse aquí. Okay. Uh, esta. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh -huh. ¿Alguna idea? Uh, como voy, como voy, o voy a ir. Sí, Carlos, pero es que la idea es que identificas, ajá, eh, la la gramática en sí, no es la traducción. Bueno. Uh -huh. Ajá. Por ejemplo, I'm gonna, eh, en este caso es un, ¿cómo se llama? Es como el I'm going to, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. el, 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 el going to. Pero, oh, okay, yeah. ajá, pasado al gonna, ¿verdad? Vaya, por ejemplo, tenemos donde dice like a tiger o donde uh -huh. dice good time. Good es un adjective en la primera línea. Uh -huh. Good time. Time, ¿verdad? Es un sustantivo. Luego tenemos mmm, ¿qué? la palabra go, que es un irregular verb. Luego tenemos el there. There's no uh, stopping me. Entonces, el there's, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es el, ¿cómo se llama? Un demonstrative. There, demonstrative. Y el me, stopping me, es un object pronoun, ¿verdad? Entonces, ajá, ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Porque la traducción creo que ya más o menos uno puede captar, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Pero sí se trata de identificar, ¿ok? So, thank you, Carlos. Very nice. Okay. Muy buena canción, muy buena canción de Queen, ¿verdad? Y ajá, es por eso que les mencionaba esto. Y eh, lo importante es identificar estas palabras, ¿verdad? El subject, el object, eh, los... Adjectives, que uh, se utilizan bastantes. Adjectives, adverbs, los verbos si son regulares o irregulares. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, porque la, la gramática normalmente dicen, ah, que la gramática es aburrida. La gramática realmente es interesante si lo tomamos por el lado, o sea, que nos llama más la atención. Ok, en los últimos minutos vamos a ver lo siguiente. Tenemos el have got. Have got es otra manera de decir have, pero es una frase que se utiliza bastante, pero con la contracción. Por ejemplo, no se utiliza mucho I have got, sino que I haven't got. O, bueno, le voy a poner las. Tenemos estas. Y la vamos a continuar mañana, pero quiero que vean esta parte. You have got, he has got, she has got. It has got, y sucesivamente. Tenemos la contracción, que es acá. Where I've got, I've got, por ejemplo. Decimos, I've got to work. O algunas cosas, I've got to work, I've got to work, ¿verdad? You've got, la siguiente.
cuando le llevan con el chambre alguien. You've got to know. I'm sorry. Y también con el will pasa algo similar. A veces mm -hmm. también hace una cosa. Ajá, se hacen contracciones con esas que gramaticalmente se han ido como modificando, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues, el, el uso en este caso sería uh, I've got, you've got, he's got, she's got, it's got, uh, we've got, they've got. ¿Qué significa esto? Significa have. Así es, por ejemplo, I've got, I've got a work tomorrow, tengo que trabajar mañana. I've got to, I got to send the report, I've got to finish, y así sucesivamente. Pero vamos a ver esto detenidamente el día de mañana, ¿ok? She's got it crazy, como dice Liz. Yeah, that's it. Porque tenemos algunos ejercicios acá. Que lo vamos a hacer mañana, ¿ok? Con el gotta, ¿ok? También tenemos la manera negativa, ¿verdad? Pero como ya le dije a todos, ¿verdad? Que se utilizan las contracciones. I've got eso lo van a ver en un montón de canciones. Esta. O esta. En varias canciones aparecen. Ok. So, that's it. So, um, I'm going to check the attendance list. Reviso la lista de asistencia. And, um, please say hi, hello. Or goodbye, good night. And in this case, eh, se queda Abigail Elizabeth, te quedas con la sesión one and one, ¿ok? Ok. Abby. Perfect. Let's listen. Eh, no, Liz, el God, eh, vaya, el God es así, es que ese, 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 ese get es complicadísimo. Get es en presente y God es el pasado. Casualmente así es. Get presente, got pasado. Pero cuando se utiliza I've got, esa misma frase significa tener. Yo tengo que, tú tienes que, él tiene que. Ese es el punto. Uh -huh. Lo que les estoy explicando es que el, ya el got ya no, no tiene nada que ver con el get en pasado. Simplemente es una frase idiomática, I've got. Ok, but we're going to continue tomorrow. Continuamos mañana. Eh, vamos con él. En la lista de asistencia. So, a ver, de Nilsson, pues, no se pudo conectar. Abigail Elizabeth, hello. They're hello, right. teacher. Thank you. Alexander tampoco. Silvia, hi. Present. Thank you. Brenda. No sé si está por ahí. Okay, Carlos. Hello. Present teacher. Thank you. Douglas. Douglas. Okay. Elia. Present teacher. Perfect. Flor. Good night teacher. Good night. Francisco. Good night teacher. Night, Gisela. Good night, teacher. Night, uh, Mauricio. Present. Thank you, Juancito. Hi there. Good night. Good, Good night. Uh, Julissa. Sí, se conectó Present. al final. Thank you, Carly. Present, teacher. Perfect. Laura. Creo que se Present. tuvo un corte de electricidad. Ok, Present. Marvin. Ok, Laura. Marvin. I'm here. I'm here. Perfect. Janet. Present teacher. Ok, Saúl. Present. Liz Sánchez. Present, good night. Okay. Good night. Y Verónica Serna, que sí está, se conectó. Bien. Eh, no se olviden. No, Gracias, Verónica. Thank you. No se olviden de avanzar con la plataforma para que no se les acumule. El lunes debe estar terminado la unidad 1. If you can finish during the weekend, do it. ¿Verdad? Si pueden durante el fin de semana, háganlo para que pues no se les acumule. Ok. See you tomorrow. Nos vemos mañana que es viernes pequeño. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye. Night. Bye. Bye.
Goodbye. Good night. Okay, Abby. Hello. Hello, teacher. Estás teniendo dificultades con el internet. Sí, a veces. Ajá. O por lo menos es por ratitos. Porque en ocasiones sí está como bien, pero a veces hay como inestabilidad. Y así ha sido siempre últimamente, porque yo recuerdo que antes era un poco más estable. Sí. No, lo que pasa que cuando en el módulo anterior estaba con otro teacher, pero casi siempre estaba bien. Solo que en la última clase todos estaban reportando que tenían problemas. Y sí, a veces también me daba a mí como dificultades también en el internet. Y así se quedó. Ah, vaya, se quedó así. Sí, Vaya, comprendo. pero no sé si, si le habrá pasado algo porque todos estaban mencionando que había como una actualización. Sí, a veces las actualizaciones dificultan este, que el acceso nuevamente, pero uh -huh. bueno. Uh -huh. No, pero es, por lo menos aquí es esto. A veces, bueno, ayer sí se me fue el internet, no sé cómo que se me fue y me costó que poder ingresar nuevamente. Y a veces estoy desde el teléfono, aquí, así, en dos. Cuando Bye. logro en, ingresar desde el teléfono, ya cierro la compu, si no, al contrario. Vaya. Elizabeth, eh, ¿tienes alguna pregunta con lo no. que llevamos hasta ahora? No. <risa> Está no. fácil, ¿verdad? Lo que estamos viendo. Sí. <risa> Sí, como que no requiere eh, mayor complicación ni nada de eso. Pero sí, de, de tener en cuenta quizás este, algunas actividades, ¿verdad? Que, que estamos haciendo. Viste que ahora eh, Carlos creo que se confundió, ¿verdad? Con la actividad. Uh -huh. Porque, ajá, se trata de señalar qué palabras pues, son verbos, cuáles son adjetivos. Sí, sí, ¿verdad? comprendo. Uh -huh. Por lo menos dentro de la dentro de las oraciones o dentro del párrafo de la canción, quiere que nosotros identifiquemos el verbo to be, mencionó, ¿verdad? Sí, ah, el verbo to be puede ser subject pronoun, por ejemplo, cuando aparece I, cuando aparece you, she, uh -huh. Ajá, puede ser, por ejemplo, ah, y si ves ahí en presente o en pasado, puedes subrayar y, y puedes decir verbo? esta oración. Es, uh -huh. O si es regular o irregular. Uh -huh. um, lo que les digo es que pueden elegir qué seis, siete, ocho palabras, porque es mentira que, que, que se van a elegir todas, porque llevaría mucho tiempo. Sí. Pero sí se pueden, por lo menos unas ocho palabras para que eh, se detalle y, y se vea que, que pues sí están, estamos trabajando la parte gramática a través de las canciones. Sí, comprendo. ¿Verdad? Y este, no te, no te vayas a trazar con la plataforma, ¿ok? Sí, en verdad, recuerdo. solo una, uh -huh. solo una tarea he, he podido hacer, pero ya en estos días me pondría. Sí, antes. ajá. Y recuerda que puedes este, adelantar. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí, Eso, normalmente ajá. yo entro como una dos veces o tres veces, pero lo termino. <risa> uh -huh. Para después ya no estar ahí porque después se complica. Es correcto, yo ajá, también sugiero eso, porque el, el quedarse, digamos, todos los días solo por cinco preguntas, a veces, pues, uno está cansado, ¿verdad? Hay de sí. diferentes motivos, así que, pero si no tenemos problemas, entonces, Elizabeth, muy bien, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Si tienes cualquier duda, cualquier cuestión, eh, pero sí, ya ingresaste a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ya hice la primera tarea, pero ya después ya, ya no tuve tiempo y ya no sé, Vaya. pero sí, sí ya ingresé. Te... Sugiero que lo hagas el fin de semana porque el lunes ya debo de pasar notas. ¿Verdad? Okay. Así que cualquier Tendré cosa, ahí estamos. Eso. Estamos a la okay. orden. Ok, Elizabeth, así que te veo Perfecto. mañana y preparas ahí la actividad. ¿Ok? Ok, no problema. Excelente. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. See you soon. <risa> sí.